How does high blood sugar or hyperglycemia feel? The human body naturally has, has sugar or glucose in the blood. The right amount of blood sugar gives the body cells and the organs energy. Too much blood sugar is known as hyperglycemia. The liver and muscles produce some blood sugar but most comes from food and drinks that contain carbohydrates. In order to keep blood sugar levels within a normal range, the body needs insulin. Insulin is a hormone that directs the body cells to take up glucose and store it. If there is not enough insulin or insulin does not work properly, blood sugar builds up. High blood sugar levels can cause health problems. What does hyperglycemia feel like? Why does it happen and how do you know if your blood sugar levels are too high? Watch on to find out more. Symptoms Blood sugar is fuel for the body's organs and functions. But having high blood sugar does not provide a boost in energy. In fact, the opposite of often happens because the body's cells cannot access the blood sugar for energy. How does this feel? When a person has high blood sugar, they may have a headache and other aches and pains. Find it hard to concentrate. Be very thirsty or hungry. Feel drowsy or turd. Have blurred vision. Feel their mouth is dry. Have blotting. Need to urinate often. Notice that wounds take a long time to heal. High blood sugar and low insulin can lead to a rise in ketones and possibly diabetic keto ketoacidosis or DKA, a serious complication that needs urgent medical attention. If this occurs, the individual may experience shortness of breath, a fruity taste or smell on the breath a rapid heartbeat, confusion and disorientation, vomiting, dehydration, coma. In addition, the person's blood sugar levels may be over 250 mg per deciliter. People can experience high blood sugar levels in the morning, especially if they have diabetes. Testing kits for Levels of blood sugar and ketone levels are available for purchase online for use at home. However, anyone who thinks they have diabetes should see a doctor first. How does high blood sugar affect the body? High sugar in the blood can lead to a number of other symptoms and complications. Here are just a few. Urination and thirst. High blood sugar goes into the kidneys and urine. This attra attracts more water, causing frequent urination. This can also lead to increased thirst, despite drinking enough liquids. Weight loss. High blood sugar can cause sudden or unexplained weight loss. This occurs because the body cells are not getting the glucose they need so the body burns muscle and fat for energy instead. Numbness and tingling. High blood sugar can also cause numbness, burning or tingling in the hands, legs and feet. This is due to diabetic neuropathy, a complication of diabetes that often occurs after many years of high blood sugar levels. Long-term complications. Over time, High blood sugar results in harm to the body's organs and systems. Damage to the blood vessels can lead to complications including heart attack or stroke. Damage to the eye and loss of vision. Kidney disease or failure. Nerve problems in the skin, especially the feet. Leading to sores, infections and wound healing problems. Causes Several types of diabetes can lead to high blood sugar. In type 1 diabetes, 
the immune system attacks the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin as a result the body lacks insulin and blood sugar levels rise people with type 1 diabetes must take insulin through a needle pen or insulin pump to keep blood sugar levels within the target range only 5% of all people with diabetes have type 1 according, according to the american diabetes association in type 2 diabetes the body does produce insulin but is unable to use it properly the pancreas tries to make more insulin but often cannot make enough to keep blood sugar levels steady this is known as insulin resistance people with type 2 diabetes may need to take insulin pills or make diet or exercise changes to help manage blood sugar levels gestational diabetes can happen when insulin resistance and high blood sugar levels appear during pregnancy people should monitor this during pregnancy as it can lead to complications for the mother and the baby gestational diabetes usually goes away after delivery cystic fibrosis there may be a link between diabetes and cystic fibrosis medications people who take beta blockers and certain steroids may also experience high blood sugar risk factors for high blood sugar doctors do not know exactly what causes diabetes some factors may increase the risk however type 1 diabetes researchers believe certain genetic or environmental factors may make people more likely to get type 1 diabetes the national institute of diabetes and digestive and kidney diseases say certain genes play a role and other factors such as viruses and infections may have an impact the juvenile diabetes research foundation say that there is nothing a person can do to prevent type 1 diabetes eating exercise or other lifestyle choices will not change the outcome type 1 diabetes usually begins during childhood or early adulthood but it can happen at any age type 2 diabetes the following risk factors may make developing type 2 diabetes more likely having certain genes being overweight or inactive having a parent or sibling with type 2 diabetes having african american alaskan native american indian asian american hispanic or pacific islander ethnicity being aged over 45 years receiving treatment for high blood pressure or having blood pressure of 140 by 90 or higher having low levels of good hdl cholesterol or high levels of triglycerides